بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسول كتاب الزكاة نعم الزكاة تنقسم إلى قسمين فريضة ونافلة نعم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد The book of Zakah <coughs> So Zakah It is divided into two categories That which is an obligation And that which is nafil نعم الفريضة قسمين So the obligatory form of Zakah Is two types زكاة مال وزكاة بدن زكاة مال الأموال أربعة وزكاة بدن هي زكاة الفطر نعم The first type of obligatory zakah is the zakah of wealth and this is an obligation upon four types of wealth نعم. and then there is زكاة البدن and this is زكاة الفطر زكاة الفطر متى تخرج؟ So زكاة الفطر when is it given? نعم وقت إخراج زكاة الفطر يقول لها ثلاثة أوقات. So the time for giving or donating your زكاة الفطر there are three specific times. وقت جواز. The time in which it is permissible for it to be given. ووقت استحباب. And the time in which it is encouraged for it to be given. ووقت تحريم. And the time in which it is forbidden for it to be given. وقت جواز. As for the permitted time, قبل أن ينتهي رمضان بيوم أو أو يومين التاسع والعشرين الثلاثين من رمضان هذا وقت جواز نعم. It is before the ending of Ramadan by a day or two, meaning the twenty ninth or thirtieth of Ramadan, and this is the time when it is permitted for a person to give his zakat al fitr. ووقت استحباب. And then there is an encouraged, recommended time. من صلاة فجر يوم العيد. إلى صلاة العيد هذا أفضل وقت. And this time is from صلاة الفجر on the day of Eid to the Eid prayer itself and this is the most preferred time to give زكاة الفطر. ووقت تحريم وهو بعد صلاة العيد لا يمكن أن يخرجها بعد صلاة العيد. نعم. And then there is an impermissible time and this is after صلاة العيد. So after صلاة العيد زكاة الفطر cannot be given. نعم. إلى من تخرج؟ To whom is the cat of the man? To whom is the cat of the given? طعما يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم للمساكين للفقراء والمساكين. نعم. Like the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, it is to feed the poor and needy. نعم. مقدار زكاة الفطر كم? And how much the cat of the fitr is given? صاع من طعام. It is a complete handful of food. وهو ما يساوي لا لا. صاع. هذا ليس صاع. أربع أمداد. أربع أمداد هذا مد. نعم. So one sa is four handfuls of food, and and each handful is the handful of an average person. هو ما يساوي أقل تقريبا من ثلاثة كيلو لكن نحن في العادة نخرج رز ثلاثة كيلو تنوي أن هذا به الزكاة والزائد صدقة احتياطا هكذا نخرج نعم So the amount of zakah which is given in modern day term zakat al-fitr is just under three kilograms however we give three kilogram, kilograms of rice for example Because we know that we have sufficed the minimum amount and then there is a small addition. نعم. أخرجها النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم طعام. And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he used to give zakat al-fitr as food. الأحوط والأولى بك أن تخرجها كما أخرجها النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم طعاما لا تخرجها مالا نقود. And therefore, that which is more appropriate and better for you is for you to give zakat al-fitr as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to give it, i.e. in food and not, mon not money. عَلَى مَنْ تَجِبْ And upon whom is the obligation of zakat al-fitr? 
يقول كل مسلم غربت عليه شمس آخر يوم من رمضان لا بد أن يخرج زكاة الفطر صام لم يصم صغير كبير ذكر أنثى عب حر نعم Every Muslim who lives to the last day of Ramadan Every single Muslim upon them is the obligation of Zakat al-Fitr And this, and this applies to the young and the old The male and the female The slave or the free person إذا غربت عليه الشمس آخر يوم من رمضان يعني دخل وقت المغرب وهو مسلم لو أسلم قبل أذان المغرب بدقيقة وجبت عليه زكاة الفطر نعم So every person who lives till the last sunset of Ramadan and he is a Muslim even if he or she accepted Islam one minute before the last sunset of Ramadan then zakat al-fitr is an obligation upon that person تخرج تمر and zakat al-fitr can be given in the form of dates قمح and wheat ممكن تخرج رز rice الشيخ بن عثيمين رحم الله تعالى يقول ممكن تخرج مكرونة اسمه سباكيتي باستا سباكيتي باستا نعم and a sheikh ibn Uthameen رحم الله تعالى يقول ممكن تخرج مكرونة نعم and Sheikh Ibn Uthameen rahimullah he mentioned that even in the form of pasta يعني raw pasta it's permitted طيب الثاني زكاة المال ما هي الأموال التي تجب فيها الزكاة and then the second form of zakah is zakat al-mal, i.e. the zakah of wealth. What types of wealth is zakat an obligation upon? أولاً النقدين الذهب والفضة وما يقوم مقام الذهب والفضة من العملة الورقية دولار استرليني يورو ريال. نعم. Firstly, gold and silver. Gold and silver and anything which takes the place or the ruling of gold and silver like currencies, paper currencies and so on and so forth. For example, pounds, dollars, euros and reals. What <coughs> لا زكاة الفطر هذا قبل أن تنام بعد أن تنام دخل في زكاة المال تمام خلاص اجلس تمام الآن نعم الذهب لابد أن يبلغ نصاب كم نصاب الذهب In order for zakat to be an obligation upon gold then gold has to reach the minimum threshold which is known as an nisab and how much is this? 83 it is 83 grams so if a person's gold if it reaches 83 grams or more zakah is an obligation from that gold and also when it comes to silver, 595 grams, 595 grams or more. Tamam. So this brother, if he has with him sterling, pound sterling, Alf. and he has a thousand pound sterling. Hal fi alf sterling if a person possesses a thousand pound sterling of any sterling pounds, is zakah an obligation upon that wealth? نذهب إلى هذا اللي يبيع الذهب والفضة دكان. Then we go to the goldsmith. أو يدخل مثلاً على هذا العملات. نعم. We go to the goldsmith who who buys and sells gold and silver, or we check the value of the wealth. نقول له ثلاثة وثمانين جرام من الذهب كم تساوي إسترليني؟ So we ask him. That 83 grams of gold, how much, de, how much is it in pound sterling? قال ألف ومئتين. And if he... Uh, uh, sterling. If he... مثلا, مثلا, أنا أضرب مثلا الآن. 
ليس واقع نعم And if he says that the value of 83 grams of gold is 1,200 pounds sterling, as an example. إذن الألف ما وصلت نصاب الذهب صح؟ Therefore, the thousand pounds has not reached the level of the nisab, the threshold. قال جزاكم الله خير ليس عليه زكاة. نقول لا انتظر نحسب الفضة بكم. And that person might reply, okay, because it has not reached the value of 83 grams of gold, i.e. 1,200 pounds, that there is no uh, zakah. However, we say to him, but we have to check the value of silver as well. And then we ask the person that how much is 595 grams of silver worth in pounds and he replies that it is worth 900 pounds for example now his thousand pounds has reached the nisab the minimum threshold so when it comes to paper currency we always consider the lower value in terms of the nisab between gold and silver كيف نحسب الزكاة؟ كم مقدار الزكاة؟ الألف هذه التي معه ولا 83 جرام أو مثلا 595 جراما من الفضة كيف نحسبها؟ مقدار الزكاة كم نخرج؟ How do we calculate the amount which is owed on zakah? This thousand pound sterling or 83 grams of gold or 595 grams of silver how much do we know to give from these amounts? سهل جدا and this is very easy تقسم بالآلة الحاسبة المبلغ على أربعين. And that is using a calculator, for example, you divide the amount of wealth which you have by forty. الشيخ إبراهيم عنده مئة وعشرين مليون دولار استرليني. مئة وعشرين مليون. pounds sterling. ها؟ جنيه استرليني. جنيه استرليني نعم. So الشيخ إبراهيم, for example. He has 1.2 million pounds. How much zakah? How much zakah should be should he give? Many عارف. أقسم على أربعين. So you divide it by forty. عندما قسمنا على أربعين. And when we divided it by forty. طلع كم؟ ثلاثة مليار ثلاثة مليون. مئة وعشرين مليون دولار استرليني. نعم. So if you add three million, because all forty million is a million. نعم. فعليه يخرج الآن كم ثلاثة مليون جنيه استرليني. نعم. If he possesses one hundred and twenty million pounds sterling. مليون. نعم. نعم. Then he has to give three million. تمام. وعلى هذا تحسب. سهل جدا. اقسم على أربعين بل على الحاسبة. So, and this is how easy it is that the amount of wealth which you possess divide it by 40 and then you give one fortieth. So this is pertaining to the first type of wealth which is gold and silver and paper currency. والثمار مثل التمر لكن الفواكه الخضروات ليس فيها زكاة نعم and then the second type of wealth upon which zakah is an obligation is that which the earth produces from grains and produce grains like for example wheat and produce like for example dates as for fruits and vegetables there is no zakah due upon them تمام هذا لا يشترط فيه يعني مضي الحول الذهب والفضة وعروض التجارة والسام من بهيمة الأنعام هذه لا بد يمر عليها سنة كاملة أما الخارج من الأرض لا مباشرة إذا كان الحصاد وآتوا حقه يوم حصاد لا يلزم أن يمر عليها الحول نعم as for gold and silver and paper currency and stock and merchandise as well as free gazing cattle, then the fundamental condition is that a whole year has to pass 
on it being above the minimum threshold, i.e. nisab. As for grain and produce from the earth, then the passing of a year is not a condition. Rather, whenever the harvest is collected, zakah is given. Now, like Allah subhanahu wa said, the meaning of which is, and give its due on the day of its harvest. Tamam. وهذا يخرج الزكاة مقدار الزكاة هنا بحسب السقي بحسب ما يسقي هذا الزرع and the amount which is given for zaka from grain or produce is according to how it has been irrigated إذا كان يأتي بماتور ويخرج المياه ويسقي هذا الكلفة تكون أكثر نعم عنده يعني so if a person has had to irrigate the crops himself by a mortar, for example, or channeling water towards the grains and the crops, then the cost of it for the farmer or the owner is more. نعم. فهذا يخرج ربع العشر يعني يقسم الخارج إلى عشرة أقسام يأخذ قسم وربع يخرج. نعم. ربع العشر. ربع العشر يعني مثلا خرج من مزرعة الشيخ إبراهيم خلاص عشرة طن. من التمر طن طن نعم ما شاء الله for example شيف إبراهيم he harvested ten tons of date أنت خليها مئة طن نعم in fact we'll say a hundred tons خرج من المزرعة مئة طن من التمر so from شيف إبراهيم's farm a hundred tons of dates were harvested. هل تتعب في السقي؟ قال نعم أنا عندي ماتور وكهرباء وكذا حتى أخرج الماء وأسقي الزرع. And so you ask him that in terms of irrigating this produce or the crops, does it require work from yourself? And yes, I, he said yes. I have a mortar and machines which are used or utilized to irrigate the crops. مئة طن عشرة كم؟ So from a hundred tons, what is a tenth? عشرة. العشرة هذه نأخذ ربعها ربع العشر ربعها كم كم اثنين ونص طن اذا يخرج اثنين ونص طن واذا كان بغير كلفه يخرج خمسه طن نصف العشر نعم so from those 100 tons of dates we took 10 tons and then we take a quarter of 10 which is two and a half so he gives two and a half tons in terms of zakah and if the crops were, were irrigated naturally without cost to the farmer then we could take a half of the ten نعم طيب يقول طيب قلتم في زكاة الذهب ثلاثة وثمانين جرام والفضة خمسة وثمانين جرام هنا كم النصاب نعم so you said with regards to gold and silver that the minimum threshold after which zakah is an obligation is 83 grams of gold and 595 grams of silver. As for crops and produce or grains and produce, then what is the minimum threshold? النصاب خمسة أوسق الوسق ستون صاعا يعني خمسة في ستين النصاب ثلاثمائة ها ثلاثمائة صاع ثلاثمائة صاع نعم خمسة أوسق أو ثلاثمائة صاع تمام then the minimum threshold for grains and crops is five أوسق and five أوسق or each أوسق is sixty صاع صاع تمام وهو ثلاثمائة و لا الصاع ثلاثمائة صاع نحن لا نحسب الآن هو سيحسب بالصاع بعدين أو مثلا يعني دون دون ثلاثة كيلو يحسب مثلا ثلاثة كيلو كذا أتركها الآن خليها هكذا أصل كل كل أوسق الوسق الوسق ستين صاع ستون صاع ستين في خمسة ثلاثمائة مفهوم نعم أجل so so the amount or the, the amount after which the minimum threshold after which zakah on grains and crops is an obligation is five osuk. Now and each whisk 
is 60 sa. Therefore, the total is 300 sa. Athalif. The third type of wealth upon which zakah is due. Ash عندك يا شيخ إبراهيم. قال عندي عندي إبل ما شاء الله. نعم. نعم. So for example, if he possesses camels. وبقر. And cows. وغنم. And also sheep and goats. ماذا تصنع فيها؟ هل تشتري لها طعام؟ And then he is asked that do you have to buy food for your cattle? قال لا. And he says, no, I allow it to freely gaze the, graze the earth. So if he has to buy food for the cattle, then there's, then there's no zakah upon it. من بهيمة الأنعام سائمة يعني تسوم يعني ترعى لا يعلفها لا يشتري لها علف نعم so if the cattle requires food to be purchased by the owner then there's no zakah due on the cattle نعم however if the cattle is سائمة meaning it is free free grazing upon the earth it freely grazes the earth and eats from the earth then zakah is due بهيمة الأنعام إبل وبقر وغنم and the meaning of cattle or behemoth al-an'am is camels, cows, and goat and sheep. But if he owns chickens or horses, there is no zakah upon this. How much and how much zakah is due on cattle? Go back to the hadith which mentions the exact amount of zakah to be given on camels and cows and sheep and goats. نعم حساب الزكاة مثل الرياضيات ما يصلح هكذا جالس لازم ورقة ويكتب مثلك الآن. نعم. And as for the حساب of zakah, then it requires a pen and paper for a person to calculate. ممكن أنتم عندما درستم في المدينة كنت تحسبوا. نعم. نعم. When we studied zakah in Medina, then the Sheikh used to make us calculate it. الرابع والأخير عروض التجارة. And then the and then the fourth and last type of zakah is عروض التجارة. أشرح. أنا أشرح. الشيخ إبراهيم عنده سوبر ماركت كبير جدا ما شاء الله. نعم. So Sheikh Ibrahim. He possesses a big supermarket. ماذا تبيع فيه? And we ask him, what do you sell in the supermarket? مواد بناء. He sells building materials. دجاج. And chicken. أخشاب. Wood. حديد. Iron. سيارات طائرات. Cars and planes. هذا كل عروض تجارة. And all of this is his merchandise which he sells. نقول لا بد تحدد لنا. وقت لإخراج الزكاة نصاب نعم So we say to him that you have to specify a time in which we can calculate your زكاه أغلب الأغنياء عندنا التجار مثل الشيخ إبراهيم زاده الله من فضله يحدد رمضان إخراج الزكاة لماذا؟ لأنه رمضان شهر يعني انتبه له الناس لأنه أنتم في الغالب الآن تتعاملوا بالأشهر الميلادية ولا تنتبه للأشهر الهجري إلا شهر رمضان مفهوم فأغلب التجار عندنا يحدد الحول متى شهر رمضان فيجي إبراهيم في شهر رمضان يفتح السوبر ماركت كم عندي من قيمة قيمة العروض التجارة قال والله حصل أن لديه أربعين مليار دولار استرليني أربعين مليار نعم ما شاء الله تبارك الله. So we say to him that you have to specify a time in the year in which we can calculate your zakah. And the majority of the wealthy people and businessmen in our country, like Ibrahim, may Allah increase him from his kindness, they calculate their zakah in the month of Ramadan. And the reason why they do this is that the month of Ramadan, people pay attention to it. So, for example, in this country, 
you use the Gregorian calendar and the months which relate to it. And yeah. so you are unaware of the majority of the Islamic months until Ramadan comes. Everybody is aware of Ramadan. So when Ramadan comes, the majority of the people, they give their zakat. So when Ramadan comes and we open the supermarket and we ask Sheikh Ibrahim, that what is the value of your merchandise or stock in your supermarket? And if he says it is 40 million pounds sterling, no. uh, billion, milliard, no, billion, 40 billion pounds sterling. So how much zakah needs to be given from 40 billion? One milliard. No. One billion, because you divide it by 40 and you give, طيب, give one Sheikh Ibrahim ilayna. And if Sheikh Ibrahim came to us and he said, I am a businessman. And he says that in terms of the cash which I possess cash, نعم. and I own, it increases and decreases throughout the year. متى موعد الموعد عندك قال واحد رمضان. نعم. So we ask him, when is the date in which you give your zakah? And he says the first of Ramadan every year I give my zakah. And so you open the safe on the first of Ramadan. And how much do you have in terms of cash? 16 million. And he says that I only have 16 million pounds. نعم. Only. And million and نعم 60 مليون زكاتها مليون ونصف نعم تقصد قيمة عروض التجارة لا لا حمت عروض التجارة الآن نتكلم على الكاش خلي عروض التجارة أخرجنا هذيك خلاص عروض التجارة واحد مليار نعم so we go back to the paper currency which he has and so he possesses 16 million 16 كم عندك 16 مليون كاش so he has 60, I six zero million in terms of cash. نعم. زكاتها مليون ونصف. And therefore, the zakah which is due upon it is 1.5 million pounds. الأستاذ الشيخ عنده ثلاث طلاب يدرسون عليها الزكاة. الشيخ إبراهيم. لا لا لا. غير. لا. So هذه قصة واقعية. Okay, so no. the, a, a true story that there's a, a sheikh or a scholar and he had three students who used to study with him. عندما يعني بين لهم الزكاة قال اليوم كل واحد منكم يرجع إلى أبيه ويحسب الزكاة. So when the sheikh taught his students zakah, تدريب. in order for them to practice zakah and practice how to calculate zakah, the Sheikh said to his students, each one of you go and check the wealth of your father and calculate how much zakah is given. So one of the three students, he's poor and he's an orphan. So what does he do and how does he calculate his zakah when he has no wealth? He left the people until they were sleeping. ثم دخل إلى بيت الجيران تسلل ودخل. and then he broke into the house of his neighbors. وأوقد المصباح. and he lit the lamp. وأخرج الدفاتر. and he took out the notebooks. وبدأ يعمل. and then he began to calculate. يعمل يعمل منهمك وجد يعني في أخطاء يكتب. نعم نعم. يعني يحاسب الزكاة. يحسب نعم لكن يعني الحساب كان أكثر أما في الدفاتر هذا كله أخطاء وهو يعدل يكتب 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 نعم. so then he took the various records the financial records and he began to calculate the amount of zakah and he found that there's discrepancies in the figures. استيقظ صاحب المنزل. and why he وجد النور في المكتب هذا الذي فيه الأموال فيه الدفاتر نعم. And whilst he was doing this and checking the finances and calculating the zakah, the owner of the house, he woke up due to the light in the office. And so the owner of the house said, thief. And the student replied, no. He 
He replied, "There are the you and the ones who are like you. You're the thieves because there are discrepancies and errors in your finances, and because of this, me, we receive, we remain poor." And upon you was to calculate your zakah and your wealth like this and this, and all of this is wrong. So this wealthy person, he was amazed from this poor orphan. The Talib al-Ilm. So, so this wealthy man, he said to his wife, What do you think that we should marry this poor student to our daughter? Because he calculates the wealth and he safeguards it. So they became married. مرة أخرى الزكاة تنقسم إلى قسمين. So one more time, زكاة is two types. زكاة فرض والزكاة نفل. There is زكاة which is an obligation and there is زكاة which is نفل recommended and encouraged. زكاة ال ال الفرض قلنا إما زكاة بدن زكاة الفطر أو زكاة مال أربع أشياء. And the زكاة which is an obligation we mentioned. Either it is a zakah upon the individual or it is a zakah due upon the wealth. And the, za and the zakah which is due upon the wealth is due upon four types of wealth. <laughs> to whom do we give zakah? <laughs> Who do we give zakah to? يقول ثمانية أصناف. So there are eight groups of people to whom zakah is given. تدفع الزكاة لثمانية أصناف فقط لا غيرهم. Eight groups of people to whom zakah is given and nobody else besides them. نعم. أقول الفقير. من هو الفقير؟ نعم. So firstly the fakir, and who is the fakir? الفقراء والمساكين. تمام. من هو الفقير ومن هو المسكين؟ so the فقراء and the مساكين and what is the difference between the فقير and the مسكين؟ هنا الفقير غير المسكين. and here in this ayah there is a difference between the فقير and the مسكين. الفقير ما يجد شيء. the فقير is the one who is completely poor and possesses nothing. أو يجد دون كفاية هذا لازم نشرح. أنت بمعنى. or he possesses something. However, it is below what suffices him, and this is what we have to explain. الآن هذا كم يكفي في السنة كامل؟ نحن نحسب دائما بالسنة لأن الزكاة تأتي كل سنة. فنحسب هذا فقير. كلنا فقراء إلى الله. هذا فقير. إلا شيخ إبراهيم. لا. هذا هناك غير الشيخ. نعم. هذا فقير الآن. So now. This brother who is poor and all of us are poor in front of Allah, we have to calculate how much does he require on an annual basis. Why? Because zakah is always given on an annual basis. كم يكفي في الشهر هنا بالنسبة للإسترليني تقريبا هناك عندنا قل ألف ريال سعودي هنا كم تساوي ألف ريال سعودي باوند إسترليني ميتين ميتين تكفي لا خمسمائة لا ألف إن كنت في نيلسون يمكن ألف تمام تمام إذا هذا قال أنا تكفيني في السنة اثنى عشر ألف باوند تمام so if we take a round figure and we say that this person who lives here he requires a thousand pounds a month to live therefore on an annual basis he requires twelve thousand pounds just to live. طبعا هو ما نشتري له بورش ومرسيدس مثل الشيخ إبراهيم لا. نمشي مع الفقراء. Now this twelve thousand pounds a year, it doesn't suffice. أقل شيء هذا. أقل تكلفة نحسب له. This twelve thousand pounds, this is the minimum minimum amount of wealth which he requires just to live. So it's not a luxury of buying Porsches or Mercedes. Rather, the minimum amount which he requires to live. انتبه نحن لا نمزح الآن نحن نتكلم حتى تفهم هذا المسألة الشيخ إبراهيم حتى تفهم. نعم. When we're giving these examples, 
Uh, we're not joking, but we're giving these examples and scenarios so we can understand and relate to them. Now, فيأت الشيخ إبراهيم هو الغني ما شاء الله. ساجد. So when Sheikh Ibrahim comes and he's a rich, wealthy businessman. يقول لي هذا. And he says to this poor one. كم يكفيك يا أخي؟ How much do you require to live throughout the year? قال اثنى عشر ألف دولار استرليني. نعم. ما في دولار استرليني. ما اعرف والله لا ادري معلش انا لا ادري انا تعرف انا مثلي مثلك انت لا تعرف السيارات انا لا اعرف هذه النقود هذا يعرفه نعم سو ابراهيم سيز تو ذا بور براذر هاو ماتش ماني دو يو ريكواير اون ان انيوال بيسيس جست تو ليف جست تو سفايس اند هي منشنز ذات اي ريكواير 12000 باوند sterling تمام قال كم معك And then he says to him, "Okay, how much do you actually own?" قال ما ما معي شيء. And he replies that I don't possess anything. قال إبراهيم نعم أنت فقير. And then Ibrahim replies that you are poor. قال معي خمسة آلاف. And if he replies that I have five thousand pounds, أنت فقير قال. He is still poor. لماذا لأنه أقل من النصف. Because five thousand is less than even half of what he requires. قال معي سبعة آلاف. If he said I have seven thousand pounds, قال أنت مسكين. Then we say to him that you are a miskin and not a faqir. قال معي اثنى عشر ألف. And if he said I possess twelve thousand pounds, قال أنت غني. Says that you are wealthy. مفهوم؟ إذا يجد هذا غني. أقل من النصف أو لا شيء فقير. نصف دون الكفاية مسكين. تمام. So if the person possesses the amount which suffices him on an annual basis, then he is, we consider him to be rich and wealthy. And if he has less than half of what he requires to suffice him, then he is considered to be faqir. And if he has more than a half, however beneath or less than that which he requires to live and suffices him to live, then we consider him to be miskin. Tamam. Inna masadqat. للفقراء والمساكين للفقراء يعني تملكه تعطيه يا إبراهيم يقول خذ امسك هذا تنفق على نفسك وعلى أولادك مثلا مدة سنة كاملة نعم أن الله سبحانه said that verily the صدقات أي the زكاة it is للفقراء والمساكين it is for meaning it is to be given to the poor and the masakin so they can possess it meaning Sheikh Ibrahim he gives to the poor person his zakah and he makes it his ownership and he possesses it for the whole year to feed him and his children نعم عاملين عليها من هم and then the second group of people who deserve our zakah are the العاملين أخرج زكاة قلنا ثلاثة مليون so we said That this brother he gave three million pounds of zakah. وأعطاها لهذا قال أنت تعرف فقراء توزع عليهم. And he said to this person that you know the situation of the poor people in your locality, so you go take this zakah and go distribute it to them. هذا وضع في جيبي اثنين مليون وقسم على الفقراء مليون. يا أخي لماذا؟ قال عاملين عليها أنا. سبح ما تقرأ القرآن؟ نعم. So this person, he kept two million in his pocket, and the remaining million from the three, he began to distribute to the poor. And when we asked him, that why did you not give the full three million? Why did you give the two? Why did you give one million and save the two million in your pocket? He says that I am from those people who are tasked with distributing the zakat. Don't you recite the Quran? لا. العاملين عليهم الذين يوليهم السلطان. كما عين النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بعث معاذا اليمن قال واللي يعطيهم السلطان ما ياخذ على ما يحب اما هذا التاجر يوكل فلان يوزع المال لا ياخذ شيء الا اذا يعطيه هو من جيبي ليس من الزكاه نعم so the meaning of ولا عاملين عليها are those people who have been tasked and made responsible with the collection and the distribution of zakah are those people who have been appointed by the state, the Muslim state. Like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he sent Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu an, and he appointed him as the collector and the distributor of zakah. So those people 
are deserving of zakah as well. However, if a wealthy person, he appoints a person personally to go distribute zakah, then he does not come under this category. Unless the wealthy person from his own money and not from his zakah, he gives him some wealth. Now, and then the third category of people who are deserving of zakah are the new Muslims. And this is one of the biggest problems in Europe. Somebody who has been a Muslim for six years and he still considers himself to be a new Muslim. If you ask him to learn, he'll say new Muslim. Muslim Do this, I'm a new Muslim. تزوج, لا, Muslim but when it comes to marriage, now he's an old Muslim. Muslim Muslim So everything and this person, he keeps making the excuse that I'm a revert Muslim or a new Muslim. Whereas Sa'ad radiallahu an, six years uh, of Islam, of him being a Muslim, and when death approached him, the throne shook. Until when... Is this excuse going to be used to justify a person's actions? Every time something is requested, like come study Tawheed, come seek knowledge, then the same excuse is mentioned that I'm a new Muslim or a revert Muslim. So the point is that the one who is new to Islam, perhaps a week, since he has accepted Islam, or a short amount of time since he has accepted Islam, zakah can be given to that person to make his heart firm upon Islam. Naam. <laughs> And then the next category of people who are deserving of zakah are, are those who we want to emancipate through the zakah. So we don't give the zakah to the slave because if it's given to the slave, perhaps the master will take it and keep it. Rather, we ask the master that how much would it cost for the emancipation of this slave and then zakah is given in order to emancipate and free the slave. Now. Al-Gharimin. Naam. And then the next category of people are the Gharimin. Aish Al-Gharimin. What is the intended meaning of Al-Gharimin? Ya'ani insan alayhi dayin. I.e. a person who has a debt upon him. Qal jazakum Allah khair. Shaykh Ibrahim Adi. Masha'Allah. Gharimin. Tayyip. Shaykh Ibrahim qal ana... اشتريت مرسيدس والى الان اقسط انا غارم ادفعوا لي من الزكاه حتى اسدد قيمه مرسيدس نعم لا غارم هذا ممكن 12000 عنده شيء من هذا يعني اشترى طعام او او غرفه واحده اما هذا ياخذ لنا فيلا بالتقسيط يقول سددوا يا مسلمين غارم انا غارم اي غارم نعم so, so the meaning of al mean are those who have a debt upon them. And this does not mean that somebody like Sheikh Ibrahim, he buys a Mercedes and he buys it on installments and then he thinks, okay, now zakah can be given from the Muslims. And therefore, give me your zakah. So I can pay off the installments of my Mercedes. So this is not the intended meaning of a person who has a debt upon them. Rather, like a poor person, for example, and he needs to buy food, or perhaps he has to buy a room, and he has debts upon him, 
zakat can be given to help that person. As for a rich person who wants to buy, a, who has bought a Mercedes or a villa on now. installments and then wants the zakat of the Muslims, no zakat is due for him. So we have to look at what caused the debt. And then, and then the zakah is not given to the person who is in debt. Rather, zakah is given to the one to whom the debt is owed, meaning we go to the person to whom the debt is owed and we ask him how much is the debt and he mentions the amount and then we give the wealth to him to fulfill his debt. If we give it to the person who owes the debt, maybe he will buy more with it and he will not, I mean, and he will not fulfill his debt. Naam. وفي سبيل الله ها تمام يقول في سبيل الله ما معنى في سبيل الله and then the next group of people to whom zakah is given is the saying of Allah وفي سبيل الله in the path of Allah and what is the intended meaning of في سبيل الله كل أبواب الخير كل أبواب الخير so every avenue of goodness صح is that correct that zakah لا ليس صحيح is it correct that zakah can be given in every and any avenue of goodness? It's not correct. إذن كانت المفروض الآية تكون إنما الصدقات في سبيل الله كل فقراء مشاكل نعم لا في سبيل الله الجهاد في سبيل الله لكن لا بد يكون تحت سلطان مسلم بأمور واضحة نعم ليس أي أحد تعطيه هذا يصعد في أي دولة من الدول وقال أعطيني المال أعوذ بالله نعم So the intended meaning of في سبيل الله is not every avenue of goodness or every project of goodness because if this was the intended meaning then the ayah would have been sufficient for it to say that sadaqa has to be given في سبيل الله because في سبيل الله would then include within it the poor and the masakin and all the other types. So when Allah subhanahu wa specified eight groups of people, then the intended meaning of fi sabirillah is ayi jihad fi sabirillah. However, the fi sabirillah towards which zakah can be given is that which is conducted under the Muslim ruler and where everything is clear. It's not for any and every person who begins to attack a country and then wants the zakah of the people. Naam. ابن السبيل يعني المفروض تقول فلان ابن فلان قال لا هذا ابن السبيل لأنه مسافر منقطع نعم يعني خرج من بريطانيا إلى المدينة إلى الحجة والعمرة وعندما وصل هناك انقطعت الأموال لديه ما يستطيع يعني يرجع إلى بلده ليس عنده مال فهذا نعطيه من المال حتى يرجع and then the next person who is deserving of zakah is Ibn Sabil. And the literal meaning of Ibn Sabil is the child of the road. You would say that it is the son of so and so. But when Ibn Sabil is used, meaning somebody who has traveled and left his family, and then during his journey he has been cut off from his provisions. Like, for example, a person who travels from Britain and travels to Medina and he's in, intending to do Hajj or Umrah and whilst he's on his journey he's completely cut off from his provisions. نعم يعني مثلا أغلب الناس اليوم كل شيء على البطائق وعلى الجوال مثلا سرق الجوال وسرقة البطائق وليس عنده شيء اذهب إلى البنك قال أي بنك بنك في بريطانيا ما عندي أي وسيلة اتصال لا جواز سفر ولا شيء نعم so nowadays, the majority of people, they cash, it is accessed digitally, whether it's through their phones or through their uh, cards. 
So if you have a person who was on a journey and he lost his phone and he lost his card. And so you say to him, look, take money from the bank. And he says, look, my bank is in Britain and I have no phone calls, no access to my bank. This is Ibn Sabil. Tamam. Sheikh Ibrahim, uh, Ibrahim, he says that I have a question. He says that can I give zakah Can I give zakah to one of my wives? She requires money. Or can I give it to one of my children or some of my children? Or can I give it to my mother? تعطيهم أوساخ الناس كيف تعطي زوجتك وأولادك وأمك أوسا الزكاة هي أوساخ الناس يعني هذا ماله مئتين مليار أو كذا هو أخرج حتى يطهر المال المال فيه لابد أوساخ يخرجها هذه الزكاة يخرجها كيف يعطيها أولاده ما يعطيها يا أخي يعطيها من مالك أنت لكن بعض الأقنياء اليوم ما يريد أن المال يخرج فقراء مساكين يخرج لأمه لأبيه لزوجته لأولاده مفهوم الشيخ نعم نعم so, لا ما تعطيهم so this person, أعطيهم من عندك so this person for example who possesses 200 billion pounds of wealth and he says that can I give zakat to my wife or my children, or my parents, and we say to him, no, because zakah, it is given to purify the wealth. And therefore, why are you given that which is required to purify your wealth? And this is how the state of some of the wealthy people, that they don't want the poor people to receive, to receive their zakah. They want to keep the zakah within their own family, and so they begin to give to their wives, or children, or parents. So, no. so, so we say to him, that give your family members from your own wealth as for your zakah it is the right of the poor the la tu'ta zakah liman tajib alayhim an nafaqa naam so you are not allowed to give zakah to those people upon whom it is an obligation for you to spend from your own wealth wala li ghani and neither is zakah given to another rich person. And neither is zakah given to a strong, independent person who knows how to work and goes out and works. And neither is zakah given to the household of the Prophet. And then the second type of zakah is the charity which is nafal. Naam. Wallahu a'lam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakum Allahu khairan.